Hi Mel, Stars, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing very, very well. So in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how to do this eye look. It's a really simple drugstore look, apart from the mascara. That's not drugstore. Everything else on the eyes is. So you're right. If you do recreate today's look, then drop a picture down below so we can tell you how beautiful you are. Oh, don't forget to grab a hot water bottle, if you're like me, and cold. Grab a hot water bottle, grab a beverage, get comfy get cozy and let's jump here into it so here we're going in with the makeup revolution Flo forever flawless utopia palette oh this one here it is absolutely gorgeous and i basically just wanted to do a tutorial just to like show off this palette because it's drugstore and it's so amazing um so these are the shades so we're going to take a smaller blending brush this one here this is a spectrum b06 brush the shade here this is the shade promise this purpley shade here pack that on the brush and we're going to focus this on the outer corner and the crease but we are going to bring in just a little bit if that makes sense so mostly on the outside but a little bit on the inside so we really want this to be really soft bring that in a little bit but leave the lid blank as much as possible so once that's all blended out i'm going to take the same brush and this darker shade which is called urbanism this purple here and we're just going to go in to the outer corner and blend that out into the crease we're not gonna um, blend it out as much um, as we did the initial shade but we still want it to be nice and soft because we're then gonna deepen it with a blue you don't want to bring that bring this one in as far we want to stop it about here as well take this slightly pointed packing brush and I'm going to go in with the shade sorry the <laughs> purple on black it's a little bit hard to see the shade Nirvana this nice matte navy blue here I'm just going to tap into that a couple of times tap off any excess and I'm just going to pack that into the outer corner onto the lid a tiny bit and then into the crease I find that this blue um really does enhance the purple it just deepens it without the need for a black or anything too intense so once you've packed that on i'm gonna take this blending brush again and i really just want to completely blend that out bring that in slightly to put that darker purple really just really really make it nice and soft just to deepen the outer corner and obviously we've got the tape there to stop it from going down too far so don't worry about really blending things out because when we take the tape off it will all be tidied up anyway so really sort of bring that out nice and nice and deep okay and i'm just gonna go back in with that purpley shade just a couple of taps just to make sure that's nice and blended in with the blue once we've got this side we want to try and match and use that as a guideline with the blue and then a tap with that lighter purple and just run that on the outer edges um, I've already set my eyes with my foundation concealer but I'm just going to cut my crease and use my Barry M all night long concealer and I'm just going to pop this on where we've left the eye blank uh, uh, left it slightly clear and just bring that in for the shape of the eye it doesn't have to be perfect we're not making it too neat um, but you do want to bring it in just a little bit. You can kind of see the other eye, the shape that we're going for with the shimmer. And pencil brush here. And just bring that up into the crease. And tap that in. Just blend that in with that purple a little bit. So with this type of look, like it doesn't have to be a perfect cut crease. Um, it just has to kind of be a little bit of a lighter base that the... A shimmer then sticks to so it just makes it stand out a little bit more so it doesn't have to be perfect like you see on you know instagram these beautiful people do beautiful makeup um you just do the best you can and that's that's fine um so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and set that so the bh cosmetics weekend vibes number five brush and i'm going to go in with this shade sanctuary here this sort of mauvey gray kind of color tap that off and i'm just going to tap that on top just to set that do next step is we're going to get now we're going to go in with the shade enamor this gorgeous shimmery shade here i'm going to take that on the finger i find it works best on the finger absolutely gorgeous and pack that all over the lid where we've cut the crease we really want to make sure that color is nice and dense because it is gorgeous and we really want it to be nice and 
didn't stand out. Please ignore my stomach rumbling if you can hear it, I'm really sorry. I'm going to go in with the shade Enchanted, this adds corner here, this sort of pinky purpley shimmer. Um, and what we're going to do is just take that on the finger again, different finger, and we're just going to take that, it's gorgeous, and we're just going to lighten up a little bit and we're just going to tap that. Focus it mainly on the centre of the shimmer and then just blend it out towards the outer shimmer. That makes sense. So then we're going to take this Spectrum brush again that we've been using, the BO6, and we're just going to not add anything else to the brush, and we're just going to blend out the edges just to ensure they're all nice and seamless, like that. And we're going to take a little bit of this deeper purple and this blue, mixed in together, and just add that to the outer corner, and ensure that's all blended in there. And with the Weekend Vise number five brush again that lighter purpley shade, that one there, and I'm just going to go over everything one last time so it's all perfect and blended and looks lovely. So once you've reached this stage here, we're going to go in, I'm just going to do some black eyeliner. I do want quite a dramatic wing as you can see, so we're just going to bring it out, and that's what I use the tapes for, otherwise I can't do a wing. I'm going to go in with my usual, my Rimmel Exaggerate Liquid Liner, I'm just going to line my eyes, we're going to go all the way in and all the way out, so I'm just going to go do that. So while I wait for that to dry, we're going to take some of this Anyway Makeup Academy Shimmer Highlight Palette in the shade Pearlescent Sheen. Mine is broken, if that. Um, I'm not going to lie. Oh, that's quite... There you go. Um, one of the reasons I did this look was an excuse to use this highlighter because I've used it on my face. It is quite a unique shade. I'm just going to put this on the inner corner. I'm going to bl uh, blend that in slightly with the, th um, the other eyeshadow and bring it into the nose, perhaps a little bit more than we normally would. Um, or not, obviously depending on what you do um, and then I'm just going to pop some of this on the brow bone all the way along and it really just adds a little bit of glow to the eyeshadow which looks really cool uh, what we're going to do now because that black eyeliner should be uh, pretty much dry. It doesn't have to be completely dry, it's just pretty much. I'm going to go in with this Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner. This is in number four, Hustle, this one here. And I'm just going to pop it on top of the eyeliner. It's a little bit clumpy, so you sort of have to more tap it on, but that's fine, the effect is the same. And we're just going to try and make it match. So let's pop this on. Again, don't worry if you don't get it perfect on the outer corner because we've got the tapes and that will really help it once we take them away to be a nice sharp line. Also the glitter, if it's a little bit more abstract, that's fine because it's a shimmery look anyway. And the glitter just adds another oomph. So mine don't quite match, but that is fine. I'm just going to peel that off there. I'm just going to go and just blend where I've had my tapes on top of my foundation. Everything I do just need to blend it. Normally I do my eyes first. So we're going to go in mascara. We do want quite dramatic uh, eyelashes, obviously, with this look because we've got such bold eyeliner. If you want to wear lashes, that's fine. I've decided not to um, just for today, just because I'm about to go sit in the living room and watch true crime dramas. So I just thought maybe not lashes this evening. Um, if you want to put lashes they would look gorgeous. I think some really big fluffy ones would really take this look, you know, to the next level. These Tarte Man Eat one, this one here, and I'm just going to give my lashes a nice coat with that. Oh, you might want to wait till your collection um, glitter eyeliner is dry, otherwise it'll end up transferring, or just be careful when you do it. Either's fine. For the bottom lashes, I'm going to take in my palette again, and we're basically just going to do the same colours in similar order, but just on the bottom. Brush, and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade we've used, pop that off, and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. I'm going to bring that all the way across. This palette is so affordable, and it's so pigmented, and there's like, there's no fallout, and you can create some amazing looks, like this gorgeous red is amazing. And honestly, I really do think it's worth worth trying if you've been interested in the range or anything like that um definitely give it a go um 
but yeah so for now we're going to take this urbanism shade again and I'm just going to run that on the outer corner and just blend that out and then take some, a dot, tiny bit tiny tiny bit of that nirvana shade and really just focus up on the outer corner and then I'm going to take I'm going to go in with this other spectrum brush any fluffy brush will do you could go back in with a brush you already used but I just want to use this one this is the spectrum bo7 brush I'm not going to add anything to that and I'm just literally just going to blend all this out to make sure it's all nice and seamless but for my lip I have already popped it on but what I did use for my lips um because I thought it was a perfect combo with this look I did the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade Vogue it's this one here so I line my lips and fill them in with this and then I went in with my latest obsession which is this uh holographic gloss topper by LA Girl and it is in the shade Flashing Opal and that's what sort of gives this holographic effect um so yeah I really think that is what works so well with this look and then definitely this highlighter here creates that bluey look so yeah that's it for today just a quick little eye tutorial and a few little tips and tricks for the lips i really hope you enjoyed today's video um if you did don't forget to go ahead like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because i upload whenever i fancy and that's just how it goes so yeah take care of yourselves my little stars and i'll see you next time bye